Well, here we go, day two, Red Team. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. What's the strategy of the day? Um, survive. Survive. Get energy from the coffee and my B12. Yeah, I, I, I really believe that not everybody will be with us at the end of the day today. Yeah, I have a feeling today's an elimination. And hopefully it's it's, it's not us that's <laughs> packing our shit and leaving. Yeah. But we'll see. I, I'm really going to try to stay focused on trying to find a coin. A coin. Yeah. Or a medallion or whatever they call them. Secret coin. Yeah, because I think that if today is an elimination challenge, Back to safety. I think there is probably going to be some immunity out there to be, be had. So yeah. hopefully, here's what here's the best case scenario. Find a coin, get immunity, but your team wins anyway. Nice. And you don't even got to use it this time. So you're safe this week and next week. So that'd be the best case scenario. So we gotta keep, we case. gotta keep our eyes peeled. Worst case scenario is we find nothing, our team loses, <laughs> they vote us off, <laughs> we pack our shit, and we go to Black Tank Island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's worst case. <laughs> but we're staying positive. We're gonna do it. I think uh, we got a good team. I think we're as long as it's a, uh, as long as it's a task that we have some some talent in. Yes. Which we have no control over. Yeah. But I think we got a shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, my next strategy is if if we do lose and we have to vote somebody off our team, yeah. I'm voting off the people with generators, man. They woke me up early firing up <laughs> generators. I'm like, you got uh, you might be an asset to the team, but I ain't getting no sleep, so you got to go. I'm sorry. That's that's my strategy. If I if I get more sleep, I'm I'm more prone to win. No. Oh, okay. And generators, people's. Well, I think we all have generators. Just who chose to use it really early this morning? Yeah, there were some early generators, some early latch slamming, some early. <laughs> the latch slamming got me. Talking. I slept through the generator. It was the latch slamming. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. That might be the strategy. That'd be mine. Is the latch slamming? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We will keep you updated as we can throughout the day. If we can't, then we'll wrap it up at the end of the day. Oh. All right. Wish us luck. <laughs> and pray. Well, it's day two, and we just finished up with our backing her up Terry challenge. Bag up, bag up, bag up, Terry. Put it reverse, Terry. Put it reverse. Oh, Lord. Lord, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? What you doing, Terry? And so I'm going to walk you around the set real quick because the blue team is out doing their thing their part of the challenge this is where the blue team their chill zone is on the opposite side over here is where our chill zone is so we're all hanging out we just had lunch and we're waiting on the blue team to finish their challenge let me walk you around a little bit more and show you what's going on over here this is where we meet this is where you'll see us conferring with Todd and getting rules and figuring out what the next challenge is there's Archer's hand that he likes to play with um, so this is really nice. They brought in all this sand, made it look very like tiki, very cool. Uh, this is the balcony where Todd comes out, and we got a fire pit so we can hang out at night or for, you know, end of night voting and stuff. We can do that. Uh, everybody's parked out there according to their team. That's the red team. That's the blue team over there. And this over here is the blue compass, airing your dirty laundry. So this is where we go to talk about, you know, what went right, what went wrong who we're blaming it on if something went wrong and so we go in there and that's where we do our, our confessionals um, that's really about it there's not a whole lot to the set and I tell you today man Leslie was really impressed me um, when we first got here today they told us that there was gonna be a water challenge and there was gonna be this uh, back it up challenge and we knew that Leslie doesn't do water very well so uh, anything that she can't see through so we go, went ahead I was the only guy on our team that decided to do the, the water challenge and let Leslie do in the backing it up and since we got some uh, break for lunch we got scout out scouts playing a little cornhole <laughs> on the Alliance RV unplugged cornhole set yeah what you doing buddy playing cornhole brushing up on my game yeah and uh, man Leslie crushed the challenge today it was awesome i literally thought there were, i had no hope whatsoever yeah 
So after watching the first three people go and not even come close to completing the actual task, I felt okay. Like, yeah. okay, so when I screw this up, I'll just blend in with everybody else. So that's fine. Yeah, Pressure I, was off. I think we did really good. I would have probably got frustrated. Yeah, so, and you would have been frustrated. Yeah, it was good. I was back there. I was having fun. And Leslie was like, hey, if we get, if we we're get, good, we're we good. Get. If not, we're yeah. still having fun. So we kept a good attitude. And now, no matter what, I'm okay with doing a water challenge no matter what it is. So yeah. I think that was a good tactic. Mm -hmm. Not only that, all the other guys on our team did the backup. Yeah. So I'm going to be swimming with all the gals. If it's a swimming challenge. Or I'm going to be doing the water challenge with all the gals, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, whatever the water challenge and is. And hopefully um, we'll be good as a team. Yeah, I hope so. I hope they're strong swimmers if it's a swimming challenge. Yeah. Well, after that's all said and done, we'll check back in with you. Holy crap, man. Today was a long day. Today was a long day and today was a rough day. Yeah, we got our butts whooped twice. We got our ass handed to us today <laughs> all day long. Yeah. We got beat in the uh, individual, individual challenge, challenge, even though we did really, you did really well backing that thing up, man. Yeah. Like, back I it up, Terry. <laughs> I surprised myself. <laughs> yeah. And that was strategy because we knew the second challenge was going to be a water challenge. And we knew that you probably wouldn't want to get in water. But yeah. at the time, we didn't know if it was going to be like carrying water yeah siphoning water purifying water or, or actually, actually being, being in. in the water but yeah. when they said water challenge we just said look we didn't want to risk they it. don't risk it because you and it was a good that we did yeah it. well good and bad um you backed it in really well i had fun with that trying to that was interesting you, even though i knew in my mind there's no really helping with the directing no. you kind of had to figure it out on your own yeah. and which you did really well and Thanks. uh we didn't win no, we didn't win. The, our team they, didn't even win. No. Uh, which was unfortunate. So then we went to the water challenge, which was wakeboarding. Yeah. I've never wakeboarded before. Yeah, most of most of everybody today did. Didn't. And most of the teams had, uh, if there was a male and female on the team, most the males did the backing in because they, most they of the males assumed. do the backing in with yeah. their rigs. So. Mm -hmm. Most of the males did the back end, so then most of the females were forced to do the wakeboarding thing. Yeah. So I was like one of two dudes on the boat, me and Aaron. Yeah. And Aaron was only on the boat because he had to do both. Yeah, because he's a Archer, solo. Archer, yeah. Archer can't, can't back her in. <laughs> no. So he had to do both, and he kicked everyone's ass. Yes. Uh, he got up. He did the turn. He crossed the wake several times. Like three, he, four times. He scored more points on his own than our entire team scored collectively. Yeah. yeah. And uh, He's very athletic. I scored zero points. <laughs> yeah. So I contributed nothing to the team. I couldn't get up out of the water. Yeah. I couldn't get it figured out. It's hard to learn wakeboarding in five minutes. Yeah. Because our time limit was five minutes. And that includes, I mean, the clock's still running when the boat's coming back around to get yeah, you. Yeah, when so, you fall and it has to come back and get you. So really, you. I think I got like, what, four shots at it? Three. Three. Three or four shots at three. it. And you're just, I mean, you try something different the next time because the first time didn't work. Lord. And all three times, it just didn't work. And as you're going along, it gets harder and harder. Yeah. Well, first of all, the water was like 50 degrees. Yeah, that was freaking cold. So water. as soon as you get in the water, it's immediate shock. Yeah. <gasps> and you just can't breathe. Your muscles tense up. And then, so with every attempt, your muscles get weaker and weaker. Okay. You're colder and colder. Yeah. My fingers couldn't grip the, grip the, bar. the bar very well. Um, all excuses because there are people who did it so I know it can be done, done. I just couldn't do it <laughs> yeah. which is rough for me because yeah. I'm not accustomed to failing at anything he got outperformed by women I did I, 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 pride was hurt probably more than anything I was actually I wasn't that bad I no? was I was actually very happy for the people who did it and Mary rocked it I had a great team. appreciation for the ones who did it yeah, because yeah. I was in there and I saw how difficult it was yeah. and I am athletically inclined I am an athletic dude grew up playing sports doing all that stuff and yeah. so for me to not be able to do it much much respect for everyone who could because yeah. I know how hard it was and it's it's a feat yeah <laughs> yeah and then we had the coaches challenge yeah Phil Stacy got up there and played the Guinness world breaking record oh my god of Jenga that was an amazing game. Or whatever they called it, Stacky Blocks or whatever. Well, it's, They're it's not allowed Jenga. to call it Jenga, but it's Jenga. Yeah. And man, Stacy rocked it. She did so good. But oh. she was kind of at a disadvantage because it got so high she couldn't even see to put it up there. To put anymore. it up. 
And so she... And it's one-handed. Yeah, she messed up and, and touched the other block. And she messed up and touched... So the blue team got pizza. Yeah. Um, so we got our ass kicked in the individual challenge, in the team challenge, and the coaches challenge. And, man, that's all... It's it's tough. You watch the reality shows, you're like, see, just phone them off. Come <laughs> deal, man, just phone them off. We say it. You know? I'm like, watch I, I, I do. I watch TV, like, just phone them off. Screw it. <laughs> phone them off. <laughs> Because when you're watching a reality show, you're only seeing 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour show. You don't realize the bonds that are formed that behind are, the scenes. Our 14, 15 hour days, we're hanging out with each yeah, other. Yeah, you're hanging out, you're telling stories, you're talking about your kids, you're your grandkids. You really and you're getting, know yeah. them. And, you know, it's different for RVers. We're not like 20 strangers coming together and I don't know you and I'm going to get the Every money. No themselves. matter what it takes, yeah. lie, cheat, steal, knee, whatever, <laughs> you know. Our viewers aren't like that, no. so it's not in our we're nature. Friendly, helpful people. But it is the nature of the game, so we're gonna have to play the game that That's way. The point, yes. We knew coming in, in order for us to win, everybody else has to, has lose. to lose. Yeah. And unfortunately, the way that the game is being played, as far well, the way it's starting anyway with voting, yeah. There has to be some strategy to that. There has to be some some gameplay. I feel like the strategies that have already begun. I feel like conversations have already begun. And so if you don't get involved in those conversations, you will be the one voted out. Mm -hmm. That's just the way the game is. Yeah. It sucks. Oh, God. I am exhausted. All right. We're getting off here. Leslie's done. She's tapping out. It's a long day. And we got to be up early to do it all over again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So we'll share that with you also. <laughs> so tune in next week after the RV Unplugged mm -hmm. episode airs. We'll come on and give you our thoughts on it. So make sure you subscribe Oof. so that you don't miss any of that. And stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.